Good morning. Will you please stand for a moment of silence and remain standing for the Pledge of the Flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coming up on UPC, some information about the Doorway Scholarship. Maybe the most important game in football history here at Countryside. I'll have the scoop today in sports. Are you ready to give blood again? We've got the scoop. All this and more coming up on UPC, and it starts right now. Welcome to the Friday, November 20th edition of UPC. I'm James Zervios. And I'm Steve Ferrara. Don't forget to bring in cans this week to your sixth period class and win a pizza and an ice cream party. Seniors, if you could not file your application for graduation or pay your grad fee on Wednesday, November 18th, a makeup collection day has been rescheduled for Tuesday, December 1st. If you have misplaced your application, pick up a replacement in the administration office. See your sponsor in room D5 with any questions. And have you heard anything about the Doorways program? Well, here's Paige to inform you on this opportunity. You might be asking yourself what the Doorway Scholarship is. Well, it's a trend that has no way of stopping. Are you wondering what this scholarship is or how your child might attain one? Well, here's Ms. Copenhaver, the Doorways Coordinator for Countryside High School with more details. The Doorways Scholarship is for students who have um, financial need in their background. The way that they're determined is that once the community pays for these and they are um, two years at a two-year college and two years at a four-year college. The Doorway Scholarship is not just a way to put students through college. It's a motivational tool. We asked some Doorways recipients how it has affected their lives. Doorways is a scholarship that it helps me it, to where my parents don't have to pay for me going through college and it has brought up my grades and stuff like that. And I don't know, it, it takes me from like C's and stuff to like A's and B's. So that way I was more motivated to get better grades because I already have a scholarship. The Doorway Scholarships are awarded to students from elementary through high school. To receive one is a dream for many, but an honor for all. It not only affects the students, but the sponsors, who participate in making your possibility a reality. Paige Budnick, Fox 13 Magazine. Thanks, Paige. For more information, see Ms. Copenhaver in the guidance office. Seniors, if you have any pictures of yourself and or fellow CHS students from childhood, please turn them into J6 for, po for possible placement in the yearbook. On Wednesday, December 2nd, SPJC will be here at 7.30 to administer the college algebra placement test. Any student planning to take college algebra second semester must pass this test. If you are planning to take college algebra and have not yet passed the placement test, please see Ms. Sconza in the guidance office to sign up for the test. Just a reminder to all drama members that auditions for districts are today after school. You must be a drama member and have paid your dues to audition. They hope to see you there. Underclassmen who are interested in competing for Coast Guard Academy are invited to visit, to visit on a Coast Guard cutter in St. Pete on Sunday evening, November 29th. The ship visit will also include a briefing regarding qualifications for the Coast Guard Academy and a tour of the ship. See Mrs. Gu Guthrie for more info. And are you getting ready for some football? Well, here's Alfredo to rev you up. Thank you, James and Steve. I'm Alfredo Muente with UPC Sports. All golfers should turn in their J.C. Penny tickets or money to Coach Bryant in as soon as possible. The first 12 wanting to go to Innisbrook on Tuesday, December 1st, should sign up in room D6. And tonight is the long-awaited matchup between the Countryside Cougars and the Northeast Vikings. We had a chance to interview some of the administrators, players, and cheerleaders. First off, though, is Coach Bobby Johns. 
Well, I mean, you know, this football team has been playing together for a long time, and they've done an outstanding job. The, the, the kids are the ones that, that deserve the, the uh, recognition for that. Um, all I've done is try to come in and build a team attitude, a family attitude. We preach attitude and uh, family attitude all the time, and we've tried to bring that together, and the kids have, have uh, started buying into what we're doing, and they believe in it, and they have confidence in it, and I think that's probably why we are where we are. Um, I just want everybody to have a winning attitude, come out in the game tomorrow and really support us and uh, cheer us on as we go on to victory. And if we, if we win this one, I think we'll, we'll go for the next one. We'll have a lot more heart, and uh, it would be a really big game for us. So I'd like a lot of fans come out for us. Thanks. All right, thank you. I'd say uh, you guys really need to come out and support us uh, if you can to make it out there. And, uh, you know, if you see us in the hallways and stuff, you know, try to cheer us on and uh, try to get us revved up for this game. This one's a big one, and we really, really need a win. Um, all week, I know everybody's saying how we're going to lose and stuff, but uh, we have a lot of confidence going in this game, and um, we should win if y'all can get behind us. And um, in school, you know, tell us we're going to win. Don't try to get down on us, because uh, this is the playoffs, and we've only been there two times, so that's about it. Uh, we just got to come out with a lot of emotion tonight. It's a big game for us. It's a game we were going to win tonight. We got to come with a lot of emotion, a lot of fire, a lot of attitude. Uh, like we talked about in practice all week, had a great week of practice, and this is for all the Marbles right here. This is our state championship. Well, I'm, I just want them to know we're behind them, and number 44 and 42, get up on it. We'd love to have everyone come out. Uh, we're making history here, and this is just one of the next few series of games that we're going to have to go to, and I think our kids can do it. I have, you know, I have confidence in them, and we're going to do that by showing support tomorrow from our pep assembly. We're going to try and do a caravan down there. And um, just want to tell you to go out there, garnet and gold, and get them. Um, I just want the team to go out there and do a good job and everybody to come out and support us. The more, the merrier, and just have a lot of fun. Yeah, we've just been practicing really hard, and everybody's real pumped up for the game, and it'd be nice if everybody came out to support us. I think all we need to do is play real hard. We just need to show up and show them what Countryside's all about. And now joining us to talk about tonight's big game, we've got Chris Larson and Scott Subcheck. And guys, thank you for joining us on the show today. First of all, Scott, tell us about the magnitude of what this means to the team. Uh, what this means to the team, Alfred, it was that uh, this is the last time that a lot of seniors are going to step on a football field. And uh, we just need to win. It's all we have left to show for our season, the big playoff game, and we're going to win tonight. All right, what kind of words of support do you have for the uh, players and for the fans watching right now? Uh, Guys, we just need to hit them as hard as we can, come out, just win tonight. And uh, fans, uh, we need some school support, so come out as many as you can and uh, support us. All right, now, Chris, there's a little bit of apathy uh, shown this morning being the St. Pete Times about the Countryside Cougars. Yeah, um, we uh, took a little bit of defense to that. They they have us down by 28 points, but uh, i like to uh, prove them wrong on that. They, they seem to think this is our last game, but I think we're going to... We're going to prove them wrong. All right, now, you were a backup quarterback in the last uh, playoff game in 96. How does this compare to that game? Well, um, obviously, it's a lot different. You know, we, there's a lot on my shoulders. But uh, I think that we can, as a team, come together and do pretty good. It's, it's going to be a little different than the last playoff game. I think we have a really good shot winning tonight. All right, well, good luck to you guys. Game time is at 7.30. And uh, this is the district playoff game between the Countryside Cougars and the Northeast Vikings. And here's some directions of how to get to the game. Go down south on I-275, and you can catch it right at the corner of 54th Avenue North and 16th Street North in St. Petersburg. And that's the wrap today in sports. Hope to see you there tonight. Now back to you guys. Thanks, Alfredo. We hope to see you there. Juniors who are interested in obtaining information regarding the Air Force Academy will need to meet with the representative on Tuesday, November 24th. Passes will be given on Monday, November 23rd. The, the blood drive is coming again on December 2nd. Please check the master schedule on Tuesday, December 1st in your English class for your scheduled appointment. If you are unable to donate at your point appointed time, please obtain a hall pass and attend the blood mobile at a convenient time before 1.30 p.m. Our goal is 120 pints. Please help and share your gift of life. And some last minute announcements. A happy sweet 16th birthday to Candace from Ashley, Crystal, Sarah, Dawn, Ashley, Becky, and Heather. And a big fat happy birthday to Dory Reitmeyer from UPC. And that's the end of the show. See you later. Bye. <laughs>